Hi, and welcome, respected judges, worthy opponents. Good morning or evening, respected judges, opponents, and spectators. Good morning, respected judges, adjudicators. Me, as proposition side, will be arguing the motion this house believes. As the proposition or opposition, this house believes. Today, I'll be representing the proposition side, and this house believes. Debate is fun because it allows you to argue, but in a way that is respectful um, and allows you to get the perspective of different sides on various kinds of topics. Opposition. I kind of think that the proposition has misconstrued the um, primary basis of recess. I think there Basically, there's two types of debate that CETA focuses on most in Saskatchewan. It's national style and British parliamentary. So British parliamentary is, as opposed to having two groups of two facing off each other. There's two sides still, but there's two teams on each side, so it's like four teams that are involved. At the start, we usually delve into speaker roles, what each speaker is going to be doing uh, during the debate. Also deciding what speaker you prefer to speak with, because some people are better at speaker one, per se, than speaker two. Uh, we just kind of see like what the motion is and who's more comfortable speaking about what topics, and that would decide what speakers we are. Definitely very difficult. I think you kind of have to separate yourself from your own like belief system. I think you have to practice a lot of like compassion and kind of put yourself in the shoes of that other side. And I think it's a really good exercise in like um, interacting with the larger society. A big part of debate is arguing something that you don't believe in, which forces you to consider the other perspective. So when you go into the real world, you are forced to think about the other person's perspective in cases. And I think that's really important because you have to be sympathetic, uh, sympathetic to some people, uh, especially for their beliefs. How would you prepare for a premier's debate? Um, I think I would do it much in the same fashion that I prepare for normal debates. I mean, I think the politicians are kind of um, briefed and have an understanding of the main topics that are going to come up in the debate. I don't think it's a huge surprise to anyone. So I think I just really ensure that I have like the research and the, um, I don't know, like the information to back up my stance and my policies and my platform. I think I would try to think of if I was that other person, what would I mainly want to highlight and what things do I think I bring to the table and then try to either counter with that or see like why would I be a better candidate. Maybe also looking at like, again, the status quo, like what's currently happening in our province. I would first of all look into their major campaign and I would try to research more into their policies, how they're trying to implement them, uh, what factors they're going to be looking at, how it's going to be affecting the population. And I think considering all of those things would uh, give me a strong sense of how I will be countering as well as presenting my own case because you want to strengthen it based off of your opponent's weaknesses.